Okay, be quiet, pretzel. All right, let me know if you can hear the game, if you can see this this sleepy baby. Oh, you know what? I need to bring this up a little bit more now that we are no longer playing the loud game. How about now? <laughs> it confused me because this has very nice chill vibes. And I was like, wait, is, is my own chill vibe music still on? No. Okay, so let's have a look at the settings, um, which I appreciate the game did not start out at max volume. Um, I booped the resolution down because I usually do. Um, I have it at full screen. You can always have it not at full screen. And quality's medium. Um, oh my goodness, when you change the quality, you get a little mount, a little cat face. We'll go for high. Um, there is a campaign. There is a tutorial, which we're going to take. And you can always wishlist it. Um, now, Cat Quilts and Cats of Calico is something I know is coming out both on Steam, where I'm playing it, um, and I believe there's a demo available right now if you go to the Steam page, exclamation point demo, uh, but it's also coming out for Nintendo Switch. So let's have a look at the tutorial. Oh, okay. This is a board game, which means that there will be, there will be turns and patterns and things to keep up with and Goodness help me. Okay. I'm probably gonna need to be out of the shot because there's stuff to see, so we'll figure it out as I go. At the bottom of the screen, you see design goal tiles. Each of them has different conditions to meet. Choose the highlighted design goal tile. Click on it with the left mouse button and drag it to the highlighted spot on the board. Oh! Okay, so it's telling me that for this design goal, it's three different pairs of colors or three different pairs of patterns. I already ran an ad. Oh my goodness, it did a little stitching in. Like it did a little whoop and oh. I was making the little stitching, which isn't really a stitching thing, but um, it did a little stitchy as it as it put it into the uh, end of the board. Okay, so one of these is all different colors or different patterns. This is two different pairs of colors and two different single colors. So that should go here. So I'm gonna probably do patterns here. And this is two different three of a color or two different three of a pattern. Could probably do that one here. You don't have to fulfill them to finish the game, but they will allow you to earn more points. So we're already in board game territory. If you want to undo your move, you can click the tile marked with an arrow. If you click the tile marked with an arrow with the left mouse button, it will then return to your hand. Try to undo. Oop. Ah, okay. Okay, so we'll do that one again. All right, you know how to undo your move. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. The most important thing of all. And scritch the cats. You've chosen the design goal tiles for this game. Now click the tile bag with the left mouse button to end your turn and continue. 
I would, but the cats are in the way. Okay. All right, this is us. New turn. At the start of the game, random tiles appear in your hand at the bottom of the screen. Use them to make a quilt. In the game, you can place your tile anywhere on the board, but we'll get to that later. Now try to complete your first design goal tile. Achieving design goals earns you extra points. Okay, so we need to create three different pairs around it. Color or pattern. Okay. All right, so we come up here. Like I said we come up here. There, okay. You have initiated the first pair out of the three pairs needed for the AABBCC goal. <laughs> Refill the tiles in your hand at the market on the right side. Do we just take one? Does it matter? Choose a tile that matches the first tile on the board in terms of color or pattern. So... Oh, I also understand what... Okay, so I'll... I, get a kitty. You're in the way. Okay. To end your turn, click on the bag with the mark by the in the market with the left mouse button. Okay, but also, if color is not your thing, there are symbols. So there's a little flower symbol on the pink. There's a little moon symbol on the yellow, mushroom on the purple, so you can use that to match colors if you can't track the colors. So that's, I like that. Oh, okay, the little paw coming for the other person taking their turns, very cute. What is this? Oh, it, turns, it puts the cats to sleep or wakes them up. That's cute. Okay. It is now your opponent's turn, which in this case is AI. You can view their move by clicking their avatar in the lower left corner of the screen. If you do so, return to your board by clicking on your avatar. I, I am not all about seeing what my opponent is doing, but I guess. Okay, so that's, so they have their own quilting board and they're doing their thing. All right, back to me. Your opponent has finished their turn, so you can make your move now. All right, place the highlighted tile in the marked location. It will create a pair of, in terms of, er? I thought I'd need to put it next to it, but apparently not. I, figuring out, okay, figuring out placement is a little weird. Okay. As you can see, tiles around the design goal do not have to be adjacent to each other to form a pair. Thank you for letting me know that, because I assumed that they would need to go next to each other. Okay. As before, select a matching tile from the market and end your turn by clicking on the bag. Um... Oh, I've got a pattern that matches a pattern I have, and I have a pattern that matches that pattern. We'll take this pattern. Um, yeah, the the hitbox for clicking and how to click is interesting. Oh, also, you can see how many tiles are left. Something you cannot do when playing board games because, no. Now try to create a BB pair. See, three different pairs of colors or three different pairs of patterns. What if I do both? Because what if I put that there? Oh, 
because that's now that's that's a matching pattern. Okay, I don't really have. Oh, this is a matching pattern. Oh, this. Oh, all right. Fine, I'll take this one. It's very pushy. Um. Oh, but you can see what your opponent has on their board, and you can see their entire board. Okay, so that's nice. Their cats are also in a different place than mine. Let's wake the cats up. Make them little menaces. Yeah, the big paw that just shrunk. Okay. Place a highlighted tile in a chosen empty space around the design goal. So this will be our third. As you can see, the new tile starts a new pair of colors while also creating a pair of patterns of the previously placed tile. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Select a new matching tile from the bag. All right, so it wants us to grab this one, so I will. Oh. I also just love the atmospheric, the atmospheric vibes you get from this. If you play Wingspan, you know, you get the the forest and the outdoors and the bird song. This one is just a very like, it's a very chill, you're hanging out, and then every now and then a cat will be like, mer, and it's like, oh, okay. All right, great. You've arranged one pair of colors and two pairs of patterns. Hello, okay, yes, you're very cute, but you're in the way of my quilting board. Now you need to arrange the last pair of tiles, C and C, like CNC Music Factory. All right. To get the most points for design goal, you should lay on board a new pattern pair, which will at the same time form the last two pairs of colors initiated on the board, blue and purple. Okay, so... Okay, I need to select... Okay, got it. Finish design goal on your own. Try to select tiles to obtain 11 points for creating three pairs of both colors and patterns. Now, what's interesting is... What if I put this... Hold on. There we go. Because this is also now started. This one's uh, okay. Oh, purple. I need purple. Or actually, I'm gonna. This will get me both. Actually, um, this will get me both polka dots and the little press. Oh, okay, so let's try that and see if that works. Okay, so we're gonna try it here. So I think we got both bonuses by doing that. Okay, that is the maximum, oh, I'm sorry, it's a cute exp Oh, there's cats on the tile. You've achieved the maximum possible score for this design goal, creating AA, BB, CC pairs of both colors and patterns, because we had two yellow, two purple, two blue, but also two of the leaf fronds, two polka dot, and two, I'm not sure what this is. If I were more of a patterny person, I might know. You already know how to achieve design goals and how their points are calculated. End your turn by taking one of the highlighted tiles from the market and clicking on the bag. Okay, let's have a look at, okay, two different three of a color or three of a pattern. I think we'll take I think we'll take yellow and the dealies here, and maybe we'll try for um, yellow and pink around this one. Now you will learn how to sew on buttons, another element of the game that gives extra points. Each tile's color in Quilts and Cats of Calico has a corresponding button. Green is a leaf, purple is a mushroom, pink is a, is a flower, yellow is a moon, light blue is a drop, and dark blue looks like a sewing bag? 
I also felt like I was about to say what lo what lucky charms are. That's the interesting part, JD Lady, is you can of course make, the game is basically saying, you can make whatever kind of quilt you want, but if you want the extra points, you'll need to follow a very oddly matched quilt. The exception is the rainbow button, which we receive for obtaining all the other buttons. By your buttons combined, each button is worth three points. Let's try to get a button using tiles on the edge of the board. We can use them to create the arrangement of tiles. To get a button, you must place three tiles of the same color next to each other. Okay. Oh, sorry, buddy. Nope, come here. All right. You already have two of the three tiles needed to get the pink button on the board. So pick up the pink tile and end your turn. Okay, cats, I you're you're doing the most here. It's time for y'all to go to sleep. You're all over the place. There are three places on the board where you can place a tile to get a button. Place the pink tile in one of the one of the three available locations. I only... Huh? I mean, I assume it has to go here. Yeah, okay. Unless, wait a second, is there a pattern I'm missing? Oh, because they're, oh, because they will be, got it. Okay, they'll be, con, what's the word, contiguous? Okay, so I want that there. Oh, congratulations, you have sewed your first button. Pick up one of the highlighted tiles from the market and click on the back to end your turn. Okay, you're suggesting I pick up any of these three. And I like the blue color. I mean, I also like purple, but I like the blue. End my turn. To gain a second button of the same color, you need to form a separate group of tiles. This means that if you expand your color group to a size of six or more tiles, you do not gain another button. You've already learned how to get buttons. Congratulations. Thanks. Now you will learn the most important thing in Quilts and Cats of Calico. How to attract calico. No, how to attract cats. I read the wrong word to your quilt. I don't know how to read. During the game, you will be able to attract cats with different preferences regarding the type of pattern and sometimes its arrangement in the quilt. Normally, you'll have three cats with three different requirements to choose from during your games. But for the purposes of this tutorial, for now we will only use one cat. Meet Millie. <gasps> Hi, Millie! The portrait of Millie shows the requirements that must be met to attract her to your quilt. To attract Millie, we need to place three tiles next to each other in any arrangement. The second requirement is displayed under the cat's portrait. All three tiles next to each other must represent one or two of given patterns, stripes, or ferns. Hey, Steph! Attracting Millie to the quilt will give us three points, but other cats may have more difficult requirements and give more points. Okay, so... If I'm out... Okay, so Millie wants three and she wants... Now I, I was wondering what these were for. Okay, pick a tile with stripes. And... Put it there. Okay. Another matching tile. Okay, well then we'll do you and end the turn. Okay. There are two places on the board where you can place a tile. Okay, do I get visual feedback? No, 
It doesn't give me feedback for these like it does for those, but that's a, oop, I see, come here. Oh, because it's only the second. I wonder if it gives me feedback on the third. Okay, we'll take blue, because I like blue. And we haven't actually had a dark blue tile yet. That pause killing me. There's only one tile left to put on the board and attract the, cra attract the cat to the quilt. Okay, so if I do this... Ah, okay. Again, the good visual feedback of... Putting this here, you get the cat paws to say, put that there, and a cat will come to the board. <gasps> and our score went up, so our score is being kept in the lower corner. Um, you managed to lure Millie onto the quilt and score three points. Choose any tile from the market and finish your turn. Okay, any of them. Let's see what we actually were trying to do... different three of a pattern so oh yeah let me grab this one and finish our turn okay similar to collecting buttons creating cat patterns has its limitations if you wish to attract another cat of the same type you must create a new separate pattern that does not touch a previously scored one This means that if you attach three or more... Okay, so those three spots on the board are out of the question for Millie. But I could... I could put Millie over... Oh, I don't know if you can see the mouse cursor, but I could put Millie's three ferns, if I can get three ferns or stripes, to the upper the upper left of the AAABBB one. Okay, but I think I have a plan. Maybe. However, if you create a different pattern for the same cat, this limitation does not apply. So if I did all ferns, then it wouldn't matter, but I couldn't do more stripes or whatever that cat needs. You are, out. You are now starting a free game. While completing the tutorial, you might have noticed cats sleeping by the board. They didn't want to disturb your learning. If you want them to start roaming around freely, yeah, wake them up. If you want to pet the cat, you can do it with the left mouse button. Oh! Two more cat portraits. You can now lure these cats to your quilt. You will have three cats to attract in every regular game mode. Tibbet, like Millie, you already know, needs four adjacent tiles in one of the cat's preferred patterns. Rumi, on the other hand, only needs three adjacent tiles in the selected pattern, but they must be placed on a straight line. This line can be rotated, okay? If you need a hint for your conditions, hold the cursor on them until the hint appears. We have provided you with the most important information about game mechanics. Use it to complete the game. If you get lost or forget the rules, you can find instructions in the menu. Good luck. So what I really want to know, and this is the one this is the one thing that I found most fun when playing games at PAX Unplugged, especially especially like just board games, is I want to know what the rule what is the rule for uh, Quilts and Cats of Calico as to who goes first? Is it the person who has most recently uh, pet a cat is it the person who's most recently you know sewed a quilt usually it's like something it's something fun like that and that's the person who goes first and then play like continues around okay so I want to put this over here because that will attract another cat to the board Yes, um, this is this is adapted from a board game. Uh, Monster Couch, Monster Couch does that really well with things like this and Wingspan. Okay, so I've attracted uh, Millie to the game again because I put three ferns in a row, and it will let me undo my turn. 
if I need to. Um, but I think I'm good. What I'd like is... If I can get these three in a row, then that will attack that will attract um, Tibbet. So let's grab these uh, funky little shacks here and hope that someone doesn't take that middle one. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna place this here. I said I'm going to place this here. That gets me, yes, that, that gets me um, the button. The rule is, who pet a cat most recently gets... I, it's, it's one of my favorite things about board games. Um, I will say, another of my favorite things about board games is the fact that they are porting them to video game. And the reason for that is that I love board games, but... I, with my eyes going and my memory not being as good as it was and my math ability not being great on the fly, I sometimes need something else to let me know when I can make an when I can make a move or not. So is that a legal or illegal move in the game? And how many points does that get? Because I have a hard time seeing that ahead of time. So that's why I like these games for that as well. Um, all right, so we're ending our turn. We're gonna try and go for a little straight line here to get another cat to come to the board. And it's the interesting thing, in a lot of these games, what do you go for to make the most points? If I can find a, like, okay, if I can grab that pink piece, that will help me over here. I'm gonna go pieces in a line over here, because that will get me a button. And then I'm gonna grab that pink piece. No, I'm gonna grab this pink piece here because I'll put it over here to fulfill this button's requirements and hopefully get a full 13 points as opposed to a seven. Um, okay. I've not really paid attention to this one, which I should, but um, okay, let's bring another cat to the board. gives me 31 points. Now as far as our next move, this is the one that we're trying to fulfill, though we do have a potential to do um, three matching colors to get a button. Y'all are polka dots, I don't have a fern to go in the middle of you. I also like that it'll be like, if you want to undo that move, you can. Um, you need two different pairs and two different single colors. So what if I... Hmm. The blue one's not going to help me there because I need a... Okay, so let's grab... Like, this would... That would be three in a row, but... Oh, you want... See, you just want four of any. Oh, they've got two polka dots on there. What do they look like? Oh, their quilt's much more... Oh, wow, they're doing... They're doing great. That's the AI's turn. Okay. Um... I think I'll go for color, because that's what my brain responds to, so we'll go for color matching and end the turn. What time we got? Nine? Okay, good, good. Uh, hopefully we'll end this game and then we'll look at <clears throat> Flutter Away. Okay, so let's throw, if I put you here, that will get me, uh, that'll get me a button. I appreciate that you can also hover to be like, if I do this, is this going to be good? Oh, whoops, we wanted the pink one for this one. Sorry, my bad.
So yeah, we get... Oh, okay, we only get seven points because we didn't do it quite right. I goofed on that. But it's all good. Okay, now... Since we need... Two different pairs of colors and two different single colors. Or two different pairs of patterns and two different single patterns. We have two pairs of... We have already a pair of colors here. I'm going to grab you and put you in that one. Hey, Val. Welcome on in. Thank you for that resub. I... So we'll try and end this, and then uh, we'll we'll switch over. Okay, so I think I was going to put... Well, let's see what happens. If I try this here, that's not going to get me anything special. If I move this up here, I'm going to get... Um, I'm going to get a button sewn on, so that's three more points for me. And two different single colors. Well, we don't have any green over here, so let's grab green and end the turn. It is, I, I also flounder a little bit with board games and sometimes like I don't go for pure strategy. I go for, oh, here's what I think will be fun. And here's what I think will work. And here's what might have a good time kind of thing. Um, so for this, we needed, okay. Actually, I'm going to grab that fern. This isn't going to, this is not going to be exactly what I want, but I'm going to go for a different kind of scoring on the board, I think. So we're going to put you here and I'm going to grab this fern purple piece. Hey, Rogan, good morning. Okay. So we'll put the fern here. That will give us a cat to come in because because Millie likes three ferns together. That gives us extra points. Now, what we need now is we need two matching colors down here. Because we, wait, let me, let me go right. Yeah, two different pairs of colors and two different single colors. So I can do blue and blue pink and pink, and then I have purple and green. So that will satisfy the seven point requirement on this one. It should. So let's grab a pink. I wish it had like a double click to just like automatically bring it in. Dragging it's weird. Hey, Dre. Okay. We are getting down to the wire. Okay. So I put this here. Actually, it doesn't matter where I put it. It's not going to do anything extra special. Okay, and for that last one, we'll grab this one. Okay, so we're going to put you here. Oh, right. If you, sorry. So you get the blue score if you satisfy it just one way. But if you're able to satisfy it in multiple ways, like basically can you do both, which is possible to do both, then you get the big score. So my bad. Um, okay, so. I don't really think there's any major difference. So we'll grab the light blue because I like it. put you here does that is that in the game or do we go to a new tile and we again let's grab green because we haven't done much green oh we're tied uh oh did we tie okay so the AI got way more cat tokens than I did and way more button tokens than I did but I rocked it on design goals, and I think we tied. We did, didn't we? Ah, nice. Okay, preview. 
Oh, they're a master quilter. Probably because they had more something than I did. Okay, so now I can see, like, their board. Wow, theirs looks better than mine. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> so yeah, that is Quilts and Cats of Calico. Uh, that's the demo. Um, again, it is... Um, currently available as a demo in Steam. Uh, it's also coming to Nintendo Switch. And it's cute. Again, it's a nice port over from a board game. They do these ports really well. Um, and I would like to learn it more. I'd also like to see what it's like to play it in person. So perhaps this year at PAX Unplugged, if this is in the library, I may make some time, um, make some time to try it. Um, so yeah, that is that. I am going to, once again, because we're coming down to our wire, and I love it, the tutorial took just the right amount of time to play.